Greetings to you all. Thank you for watching. My name is Sean and welcome back to another astrology video. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about the uh, Gemini rising sign or Gemini ascendant. What is it like for uh, an individual born under this uh, sign to be like? Well, um, Gemini is a mutable air sign and it's ruled by the planet Mercury. And uh, these uh, people are generally a very uh, lively conversational conversationalists. Uh, they have lots of uh, lively energy and they have uh, a youthful spirit to them. They even have a, a youthful appearance. They can look uh, very childlike, uh, even uh, well into adulthood. And uh, they are uh, excellent and dynamic uh, communicators and they're very intellectual and uh, they have many diverse uh, intellectual interests and uh, they love to read books and uh, it's no surprise that um, they uh, are the most uh, intellectual and communicative out of all the uh, rising signs. Um, Gemini has a lively, uh, quick energy and uh, these people uh, learn very quickly and um, they are, they always uh, seem to be on their feet. Um, they uh, have restless um, energy within their mind and uh, their minds are very agile and uh, they're quite, uh, they have a lot of uh, mental uh, dexterity. Uh, they uh, ha can uh, develop multiple skills uh, over their lifetime and um, they have been known to uh, be uh, the jack of all trades and the master of none. It's because of the many uh, diverse interests that they uh, hold dear. And um, I'll get into um, the uh, house uh, placements uh, for uh, the Ascendant and um, I'll describe uh, in detail as to uh, what they represent. Now on the uh, first house cusp, we uh, of course have Gemini which uh, in the ascendant, uh, the first house uh, represents the uh, physical appearance and uh, how uh, we uh, express ourselves to the uh, outside world. Um, it's said that the uh, ascendant uh, is sort of like uh, the outer persona, the mask of uh, one's uh, personality. Um, it, it's uh, the aspect most uh, readily uh, seen by uh, other people. And uh, with uh, Gemini rising, uh, these uh, individuals can uh, come across, uh, as I've mentioned before, uh, very uh, youthful, uh, very, um, um, they seem to have uh, very uh, penetrating eyes, uh, but uh, in a more uh, youthful sort of way. Um, they uh, can appear uh, childlike. Um, now, you have to uh, realize that uh, Mercury uh, is the closest planet to the Sun and uh, it takes the uh, quickest amount of time for uh, it to uh, revolve around it compared with uh, the other planets. So um, Mercury has the uh, reputation of being uh, quick for this reason. And um, Gemini arising uh, people, uh, they uh, look very uh, as I've mentioned, very youthful and um, they uh, have this vitality to them uh, which uh, can enable them to uh, live uh, to a ripe old age with uh, Capricorn sitting on the uh, eighth house cusp. Now with the Cancer sitting on the uh, second house cusp, uh, Gemini Risings uh, can have a very uh, emotional need to uh, their own uh, personal resources. Uh, they uh, may rely on uh, family members to, um, to um, acquire uh, wealth and uh, resources. And uh, they may uh, incorporate uh, their uh, fam family members uh, into their uh, own business. And uh, with this uh, independent streak, uh, Gemini Rising people uh, generally don't like to um, work for uh, other people. They like to be their own bosses 
And it's quite often that uh, they uh, either start their own business or they uh, will work from home independently. And uh, it's from uh, this home base where uh, they can rely on uh, family members to um, uh, to help to enable them to acquire um, the resources they need uh, in order to uh, make a living. Now with Leo sitting on the uh, third house cusp, Gemini rising people uh, take immense pride in uh, their uh, communication and uh, writing skills. Uh, they uh, often uh, regard uh, teachers as uh, being um, being uh, worthy of their high authority uh, because they've uh, amassed uh, the uh, sufficient knowledge to um, give uh, their uh, fellow students. And um, for this reason, uh, Gemini Rising uh, people uh, tend to put uh, teachers high on the uh, pedestal as if uh, a king was uh, sitting on his throne. Uh, Gemini Rising uh, people uh, uh, take uh, great uh, pride in uh, learning uh, new things, uh, learning how to uh, speak so eloquently. And um, even this is uh, even reflected uh, from an early age, uh, which uh, will enable them to um, go far in life. Now, uh, with Virgo sitting on the uh, fourth house cusp, uh, Virgo uh, being ruled by uh, Mercury as well, um, Gemini rising uh, people uh, like to uh, have their uh, domestic home environment neat and tidy. Um, they uh, are analytical and uh, critical towards uh, how um, their home environment appears. And uh, they often want to um, perfect their uh, living environment with the um, proper uh, furniture, and uh, the proper um, placements uh, of their furniture, and, as well as uh, keeping all the uh, floors neat and tidy. Um, they uh, may uh, have ex anxieties uh, whenever uh, something goes wrong uh, in their, within their uh, house, whether uh, faulty piping or um, if, whether or not if uh, the color of those uh, curtains are uh, sufficient or, or do uh, the colors of uh, the furniture match uh, the walls or the painting of the walls or is uh, the art uh, suitable for um, their uh, pleasure, uh, things like that. So um, these Gemini Rising people uh, love to um, ensure that uh, their domestic sphere is uh, kept clean at all times. Now with Libra sitting on the fifth house cusp, Gemini rising people love to um, associate with uh, those who, are, uh, who believe in uh, the same degree of uh, teamwork that they do. Um, they uh, often like to uh, date for pleasure and um, they love to uh, socialize with uh, other people and um, Libra is a very uh, sociable sign and com if you combine that with the uh, fifth house which uh, represents uh, pleasure, uh, fun seeking and uh, as well as uh, children, um, you'll uh, find that Gemini rising people uh, love to be uh, sociable and um, they uh, also love to um, bond with their uh, children and uh, in, in a very sociable way. And um, they uh, get quite a thrill out of uh, meeting new and exciting uh, romantic partners. Now with Scorpio sitting on the uh, sixth house cusp, uh, you'll find that uh, Gemini uh, rising people are uh, very intense uh, when it comes to um, matters of work and uh, personal health. Uh, they uh, take their uh, work environment uh, very, very uh, seriously. And um, they uh, may uh, be too, uh, they may be too overbearing for uh, their fellow coworkers, 
which is why uh, Gemini Rising people often prefer to uh, work independently. Um, they uh, may uh, have uh, great conflict towards uh, working with others. Uh, perhaps uh, other people uh, don't uh, share the uh, same ideas as uh, the Gemini Rising uh, person does. And um, uh, with uh, Gemini's uh, profound uh, written and oral communication skills, um, other uh, people may uh, feel that uh, they're, they, they may resent how uh, superior uh, the intellect of uh, a Gemini Rising is. Uh, that is why um, they uh, can have uh, secret enemies uh, with uh, Scorpio uh, being uh, the influential factor of uh, the secret enemies. So, um, as well, um, Gemini Rising people are very, uh, have very intense uh, feelings towards uh, managing their own personal health. Um, they uh, may work out uh, vigorously uh, every single day or they may uh, commit to uh, going to the gym. Um, either way, um, when it comes to uh, work and health, Gemini Rising people uh, don't, don't take these uh, matters lightly at all. Now with the Sagittarius sitting on the uh, seventh house cusp or the descendant, we find that uh, Sagittarius is the opposite sign of Gemini. And the seventh house rules uh, relationships. And with Sagittarius uh, representing uh, religion, uh, foreign cultures, uh, philosophy, uh, Gemini rising people uh, seek out uh, partners who um, are uh, just as uh, intellectual as them, only uh, much, they're much more uh, serious about uh, their ideological pursuits. Um, Gemini racing people uh, may uh, choose a partner uh, who's from a, a different uh, cultural background um, or of a, a different religious faith. And um, sometimes uh, Gemini racing people um, can be a, a bit fickle when it comes to uh, relationships. They uh, may uh, have more uh, than one partner uh, during uh, their lifetimes. As a matter of fact, uh, they may have uh, several be uh, because of the uh, expansive uh, factor of, uh, in the expansive influence of uh, Jupiter uh, ruling the seventh house. So, um, Gemini Rising people love to uh, expand uh, their social circle and um, they uh, may not um, commit to uh, one uh, partner uh, their entire life. Um, they uh, may have uh, several partners and um, all of uh, different uh, relig re religions, uh, uh, racial ethnicities. Um, so in, uh, with respect to our relationships, uh, Gemini rising people uh, want that uh, diversity. Now with Capricorn sitting on the uh, eighth house cusp, Gemini rising uh, people uh, can have um, very uh, conservative uh, views regarding uh, joint finances, uh, sexuality, uh, death, and rebirth. Um, Gemini Rising uh, people uh, may um, take up uh, sex education as a means to uh, get more comfortable with uh, their partner. Uh, they may not uh, have the uh, greatest level of confidence uh, regarding um, intimacy. And um, on the positive uh, side, uh, Gemini Rising uh, people live to a ripe old age with the uh, influence of uh, Saturn. Um, they uh, like to take care of their uh, health to the point uh, where they'll be able uh, to um, enjoy uh, longevity. With Aquarius sitting on the uh, ninth house uh, cusp, um, with the um, unconventional uh, 
nature of uh, Aquarius ruled by uh, Saturn and Uranus and the ninth house uh, representing um, higher education, uh, religion and uh, philosophical uh, outlooks on life. Um, Gemini rising uh, people can be a very, uh, can have very uh, unconventional uh, beliefs uh, when it comes to uh, matters of religion and uh, foreign cultures. Um, they uh, have a, they can uh, have a very uh, scientific uh, analysis of um, the uh, universe and uh, God. Um, they may have a very uh, unorthodox beliefs, and they're in uh, these matters. They're not bound by uh, tradition. Um, they uh, may uh, attend church, however, they may not. Uh, uh, they may not always agree with uh, the dogma that's uh, presented to them. Um, I, I find that uh, quite often a uh, Gemini rising people will often uh, question the um, words of the Bible or of the Quran, uh, what is uh, being uh, taught to them um, in uh, universities, uh, which is why uh, they cannot have uh, very uh, original ideas when it comes to um, society, uh, government, uh, religion, and um, they'll uh, be uh, very willing to uh, speak their minds uh, um, regarding these matters, no matter how uh, different uh, or uh, controversial these uh, views may seem to other people. With uh, Pisces sitting on the uh, tenth house cusp, the uh, tenth house uh, representing uh, careers and uh, one's uh, reputation to uh, society as a whole, and with uh, Pisces uh, being uh, dream dreamy and um, being very uh, compassionate, uh, Gemini rising uh, people uh, they may uh, be indecisive when. Uh, choosing a, a career that's uh, best for them. Um, they may uh, have, a, they may be impractical uh, when it comes to uh, their uh, chosen profession uh, or um, choosing a, a profession that's uh, right for them. Um, sometimes they uh, may uh, jump from job to job or to, from one profession to another. Um, they may uh, aspire to become a lawyer, uh, one uh, day and uh, the next day they want to become a banker. Um, if they uh, are committed to um, one career choice, um, perhaps uh, a career in uh, art or uh, music uh, may uh, be uh, of suitable interest to them with the uh, influence of Pisces. Um, Pisces uh, is uh, very uh, well versed in uh, art and uh, culture and uh, spirituality and um, Gemini rising people uh, may uh, choose uh, an artistic profession or um, they may choose uh, banking or uh, finances um, anything to um, serve the uh, higher order and something uh, which will enable them to um, which will enable them to uh, change the world through uh, their uh, thoughts and beliefs. Now, with Aries sitting on the eleventh house cusp, Aries is that uh, warrior spirit, that uh, fiery energy, and uh, the eleventh house represents uh, social connections, social groups, um, social causes, and. Um, in these uh, areas, uh, Gemini rising people can be very uh, passionate towards um, joining uh, social groups, um, joining a uh, cause they uh, find worthy. Um, they um, are very uh, passionate towards uh, meeting uh, new uh, people, new and exciting people, and um, joining uh, organizations whether they be through a frat house uh, in university or uh, community groups, um, anything uh, that will enable them to um, 
express a pioneering spirit um, in these uh, areas. Um, they uh, are very uh, socially outgoing inherently. And um, yes, Gemini rising people uh, love to uh, associate with uh, new and uh, diverse uh, people. And uh, as for Taurus sitting on the uh, 12th house cusp, uh, Taurus uh, representing uh, security and uh, stability, um, and the 12th house uh, representing the uh, unconscious mind. Um, Gemini rising people uh, may uh, have an unconscious desire for luxury. And um, they have to realize that, that um, they uh, have to, uh, they are part of the uh, social order, the higher social order. And um, they uh, need to uh, acquire uh, wealth, uh, not uh, just uh, for their own sake, but to um, benefit the rest of uh, mankind as well. Um, they uh, may uh, get uh, so caught up in uh, acquiring uh, social, I mean, material uh, security for their own uh, well-being that uh, they uh, forget to be uh, charitable. Um, Gemini Rising uh, people need to understand that uh, they um, have a, a bigger uh, role to play in uh, society um, rather than just um, acquiring uh, wealth, uh, intellect and knowledge uh, just uh, for uh, their own sake. Celebrities born with uh, Gemini Rising include uh, Julianne Moore, uh, Drew Barrymore, uh, Lady Gaga, Amy Winehouse, and Michelle Pfeiffer. So um, overall, uh, Gemini Rising uh, natives are uh, very intelligent. Uh, they have uh, great communication skills and uh, they make uh, excellent teachers. Um, they uh, have many friends and uh, they love to uh, socialize with uh, uh, many uh, di diverse groups and um, they uh, can have uh, very uh, original beliefs. And um, I think uh, we should all uh, inspire to um, learn to be uh, just uh, as uh, original and uh, creative as uh, the Gemini Rising uh, thinker. So this has been my uh, general perspective of the uh, Gemini Rising uh, energy. Um, I hope you were satisfied with the uh, level of explanation presented to you. Now, I must also point out that um, the uh, planetary placements, uh, especially uh, Mercury, um, where they're located in the chart, how they're aspected, uh, can um, have some... Uh, influence uh, over um, how um, the uh, Gemini rising energy um, is uh, formulated. But uh, generally speaking, um, Gemini rising uh, people uh, will always be uh, intelligent and uh, witty and, and uh, charming. And um, even if um, a native's uh, son is placed in uh, a more um, introverted sign like a Cancer or a Scorpio, uh, still they'll have uh, some degree of uh, liveliness uh, with uh, the Gemini rising uh, influence. So um, I do thank you for watching and uh, please like, comment and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel. My name is Sean and I would just like to close by saying uh, peace much love and uh, namaste. Uh, have a wonderful day. God bless you. And uh, be kind to one another and be safe. And um, I do thank you for watching uh, once again. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.